The John Booker Sands Wetland Center is a nonprofit nature center that sits in the middle of a 2,000 acre man-made wetland. We provide education and research opportunities in three main areas, water conservation, water quality and supply, and wetland systems. One of the very first things that we do with the students, and I'll use the high school group as an example, we send them out on the boardwalk on what we call an immersion hike. Before we tell them anything about the project, we want them to immerse themselves in this environment. And then they come in with these inquisitive questions. What is this? Why is this here? And then we go into the detail about how the partnership was formed and actually how the wetland works. And we talk about the effluent. Most of the students that come to the wetland center live in one of the 13 member cities. So we ask them, did you flush your toilet today? Did you drink water today? Well, the water that you used a few weeks ago is now being filtered through the wetland. And it surprises them. Uh, it is a gut reaction when they, and literally they look at us and say, this is treated wastewater. This is what comes into the wetland. But then they realize that the plants, the wetland, is actually filtering the water in a way that nature intends. I think it gives them this added perception of safety. Uh, and they know the water isn't safe to drink right when it comes out of the wetland and it goes through the next step when it goes back to the reservoir. So we actually walk them through the entire urban cycle. The urban water cycle, unlike the natural water cycle, is extremely complex. But we break it down into very simple steps so the students understand that the water leaving their home is treated. It comes to the wetland for a second treatment and then when it returns to the reservoir of origin, it stays in that reservoir for six to eight months before it is taken out, disinfected, and then delivered back to their community water tower. And then they understand and I think appreciate it in a way that they otherwise wouldn't have if they didn't visit this facility. And when we tell them that one-fourth of the water that's in your glass or your water bottle was probably in this wetland about six or eight months ago, it really opens up their mind.